Salam alaikum, or as they say in the country you're fleeing to, g'day. Hi, I'm Rob, and I'm here to help you on your journey from Afghanistan to the wonders of Australia. Please be aware that before you get to the airport, you must collect all of your paperwork. The Australian government cannot display any levels of humanity without the correct paperwork. Everything you need is clearly spelt out in the Australian government's fleeing, marauding hordes handbook. If you don't have this handbook, you can collect it from any Australia post office or we could mail one out to you. However, be aware that post at the moment is experiencing long delays due to COVID and a complete collapse of your government. Some of the documents you're going to need when you arrive at the airport are as follows. Your birth certificate, your passport, at least three ADF pay slips, a completed fleeing marauding hordes form six for singles, and Form 7 for families. You will also need to have the reference you received from a serving Australian Defence Force person. You'll need to have their name, rank, core, address, allergies, favourite colour, Medicare number, star sign and favourite place as a kid. You'll also need to have a letter signed and penned by yourself saying what an amazing bloke Ben Robert Smith is and that old bloke had it coming. And if you can also get yourself a photo eating a pie, a Tim Tam or a Vegemite sandwich, That'll go a long way to help in your application. Don't forget, when you get to the airport, you'll have to have three copies of all of these documents. One of the copies will go to the Australian government, another copy will stay with you for your records, and the third copy we destroy so the Taliban don't get it. We don't want them getting that sort of information. We understand your trip to the airport can be a lot harder and a lot more dangerous than it was even a week ago. And so for that reason, the government has agreed to pay all taxi and Uber fares they will also pay any tolls and also cover your donkey hire should that be required. If you're having trouble getting copies of these documents, can I suggest ducking into an office works on the way to the airport? Especially if your home doesn't have a printer or a copier or electricity or a roof. Good luck on your journey and please be advised if you are captured on the way to the airport by the Taliban, I would probably destroy the documents we've insisted you carry on you. Good luck.